Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic Micro City and as you saw from the intro we have a bit of a tourism district built in town. Now this is a bit of a work in progress, there's still a couple things that I want to put in and I'm going to need some feedback from you guys, the viewers, on what you want to see here in the Micro City. So we're going to be doing that here today. I also uh, have a little bit of news, uh, scrap mechanic wise, that I'm going to discuss as we go through some of the items in the Micro City. Uh, because we will be starting up something new here probably within the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to get some feedback uh, also from you guys for that. So yeah, if you're enjoying the Micro City on the channel and want to see more of it, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And let's jump right into this. Alright, let's go ahead and start walking through downtown. Now, I do want to go ahead and thank all my Discord members that were sending stuff in. Uh, this week has been a little bit on the tough side for me to be able to sit down and actually do some building. Even though I did get a couple things done here today. But I do definitely want to thank uh, you guys in the Discord for uh, all the support on the Micro City. And if you do ever want to send anything to the Micro City or if you want to discuss Micro City things, uh, you can always join the Discord, which is linked down in the description. So, let's go ahead... This is where the uh, the tourism district starts. So this is the back side of downtown. This downtown area is completely finished. You've got the uh, train station from the last episode and the railroad tracks. And as soon as you cross that, uh, this is basically all new. So yeah, we have stuff like this awesome looking city hall. Uh, we've got the older district downtown area, which some of this was installed last episode, but we really didn't go over much of it. And then over here is where you get out to the fun stuff. And that's uh, something that I wanted to kind of do this episode. I wanted a lot of fun things in the micro city. Uh, we've always had a lot of normal city things. I wanted to kind of spice it up a bit. So we've got some uh, cool things we're going to go over here today. I guess we should probably start... You know, I kind of want to start with the main thing. Let's go ahead and go down to the cruise ship and check this out. Alright, so here we are. We're actually we're standing in the water. Somebody asked me the other day, uh, what's wrong with the water? It, it seems to be turning brown. I don't know if it's just the sun reflection and as we build more stuff. But yes, I have noticed it. Uh, you will notice the tint changes. Like over here it looks kind of blue, but over here it looks kind of brown. So maybe we're uh, maybe we're by the Gulf of Mexico or something where the, uh, where the water's a little bit dirtier uh, because of the sand and all that's kicking up. So it's not necessarily blue water, but anyways... Uh, we have a cruise ship here. Now, the cruise ship was built by Garbuckle3000. Uh, he's a fantastic builder. He's actually built several things this episode. Uh, I don't know if he just builds a lot of Micro City stuff in his spare time or what it is, but uh, he is a, just an absolute fantastic creator. So, let's uh, go over this real quick. Oh, the craftsmanship on this is absolutely amazing. I will be honest, I've never been on a cruise. I'm not a huge fan of boats, or I'm not a huge fan of being stuck out on the water for like multiple days. Uh, definitely not a fan of that, but this thing looks really awesome. This is the HMS Komodo. Let's try to get up. I'm gonna get up on the uh, little, uh, I guess you call it support here. And oh, wow. Hold on, we need to actually climb up on top of the boat. This is actually really amazing looking. Uh, I briefly checked this out, but I didn't go over it in detail. Oh, we're gonna tip it. No, don't capsize it. Don't capsize it, there we go. All right, let's hop up here. Look at this. There's actually like a little pool. You got the furniture up here. This is awesome. This is a uh, this is a work of art, folks. This is great looking. Wow. I'm actually really blown away by this. So yeah, if you're asking yourself, I'll pull out the connection tool here. It does actually drive around, so uh, we can get into it. We'll do that here in a moment. And we'll take this out to see, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I did go ahead. I was like wanting to build some sort of like port for it or I don't know if you, do you call it a harbor? Whatever it is, this is a dock for the cruise ship. So I went ahead and built this as I was building the streets around. I was like, let's just connect it into the street. So you have like your main little lobby area and yes, there actually is some detail on the inside. You can somewhat see into there. So I built this little building here. We have like a little awning. This would be like a drop off point for people. They would walk down here. And then you got your gate down here. Say if you already have your ticket and ready to go, I guess, check in. You can walk through here. Uh, got another little uh, building down here. And then also you can come out the back of the main building and come down to the dock and load up on the cruise ship. So you've got that. Got a little storage area here. I don't know how these, uh, these ports or docks work necessarily. I don't know if they fuel up at the same dock or maybe they fuel up somewhere else. I uh, could be uh, completely wrong about that. 
But yeah, cool looking cruise ship. I guess we're gonna go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and just drive it real quick. Cause I wanna see how this thing handles. I mean, it's really big. Uh, let's go up here. Love the detail, all the little decks and you can see the lifeboats down there. Looks really, really cool. So let's go ahead and delete that. Uh, hop up into here and let's go cruising. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, Garbuckle is not a hover person when it comes to his boats. Uh, his boats all actually use, it's an invisible wheel. So it is touching the ground, which is actually really good. Something like this would be really hard to make actual, actually hover because it is top heavy. It's a uh, really, really tall. So, oh, this looks so sweet. So yeah, we can actually cruise. What's up? Actually, we're gonna go on a bit of a cruise. We're gonna go quite a ways away from the city. We'll kind of get a view from it way out here in the ocean, which by the way, we just passed by. It's a little uh, thermal power plant. Uh, I'll show you guys that here in a second. And you'll see off in the distance, there's a new island actually out in the micro city. Ah, it's actually quite lovely out here. You got a nice view of the city, airport areas, you got the bridge. So yeah, we can come in, come into port here on that right side, uh, that is a the new power plant, which we'll talk about that here in a bit. But yeah, just give you guys one more little view of the uh, cruise ship here. Uh, definitely awesome. I would have featured this last episode because I've actually had this for like a week and a half. But I did really want to build a dedicated building for it. So we're going to cruise around here. Now you're going to notice several other things about this area that we've just built. Uh, there on the right side, let's get close to it because it's hard to see unless you're right there. We'll go ahead and start to turn here. I would love to see a cruise ship turn like this. It's actually amazing. So yeah, we also in the tourism district have a new beach area, which we're going to expand upon this. I'm going to get some feedback from you guys on that area there. So let's go ahead... Oh, we're going to do a bad job of parking. Actually, I'm pretty sure these things are towed in and out. I don't think they actually bring themselves this close to the dock. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back here. Parallel park the cruise ship. There we go. All right, we're going to hop out there. Cool. So uh, we're going to wander over to the other side. Now, we do have a new marina. Uh, we'll go over that here in a second. And um, we'll also go over the city hall. But let's walk over here since I've already talked about it a bit. Uh, we do have a beach area. Now, this is actually two creations uh, smashed together. Well, I think it's actually about five, but one's by one creator, and then the others are by another creator. So let's go ahead and pull these up. All right, so I have a beach here. This is by Caden. Uh, this is a micro beach. This is the end of it. And then the other section is by eGaming. And he actually, it's like a modular section. It comes in four pieces. You cut apart, and you can just weld them together. So I've actually stuck the two together and I built onto it a little bit to give it a little bit more sand. I actually think it looks pretty good. It might admittedly be a little close to the cruise ship portion, but uh, I put a gap in there. I think it's going to be okay. So yeah, you got like a little dock here. There's a little duck, but it's supposed to be a seagull. Some trees. Uh, you got some beach towels laid out. Got some shops up here. Looks like maybe uh, potentially like a little patio and restaurant area. You got a lifeguard. This looks so cool. A uh, little changing areas. Now behind this, I would like to stick something. I'm thinking it would be kind of cool to get some sort of amusement park things. I want to hear what you guys think. What should be behind here? Because it would look really cool to have a beach and then have like a park behind it. Uh, right here, we'll go ahead and probably build in like a, uh, a parking lot or something. So uh, definitely cool to see that in the micro city. Uh, we'll go out to the power plant here in a second. Uh, now, I have started to put some of the buildings in over here. I've actually completely looped this around so it's a complete block. Uh, so we have several buildings here. This is a paper cat. Uh, this is like the paper cat headquarters. Uh, I know I have the Komodo America, which uh, some people say it's an evil corporation. I would beg to differ. We just own a lot of the city. Uh, we have the Croca United building, which this is Mr. Croca. He does some of our, or he does actually our trains. Uh, he's got his own little headquarters here. Uh, we actually moved this from the last episode. It was closer to the train tracks. And then now Mr. Papercat, who's done a lot of the buses and stuff, uh, he's got his own little headquarters here too. Uh, I know you're probably asking yourself, why is it right in the tourism district? Uh, but you got to think there's going to be a lot of transportation in this area as far as buses, shipping around uh, tourists and stuff like that. So I felt like this was going to be okay to be right here. So yeah, a uh, pretty cool little building. You know, open up the, uh, the doors here. It's got a lot of detail on the inside. It's actually, it had a lot of vehicles with it. Oh, actually, there's a little, nice little desk there. Looks cool. 
Uh, there's vehicles around back. You've got like a little sensor area and should pick you up here. Does this? Yeah, this works. Okay, there we go. So we can walk in through here. He's got some stuff parked uh, around back. I still I still do have it actually connected to the ground because of uh, lag reasons. Uh, but yeah, he's got all his vehicles here. I know he's done, I believe he's done some buses. Looks like he's got all sorts of just different transportation types. And then you actually do have a bus garage here, which this is really cool. I believe there's a switch here somewhere. Is it right here? No, that's a controller. Where is, oh, I gotta find it real quick. Ah, oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, the garage door is actually, I believe it's stuck. Oh, let's do this one real quick. Yeah, you got the buses right there, so you kind of have to clear out. So we'll clear that one there. Maybe this will make that door open. Oh, this one's actually warped in. Hold on, let's get that unstuck real quick. And that might be causing a bit of lag. There we go. All right, so we have a uh, little bus here. So this is, I think we have two bus companies in town. I know we have some blue buses. There's a uh, another depot over there. So uh, definitely really cool looking over here. Got that, got another door that opens up. So yeah, I definitely want to thank Mr. Paper Cat uh, for sending that over. So we kind of have him represented in our micro city now. I actually need to fix the driveway there. There needs to be a, a concrete patch right here. But yeah, we're going to go over here. We've got a couple more buildings. Uh, this is actually a Komodo Burger building. Felt like this is kind of like a fast food restaurant. I know we have another Komodo Burger, a really detailed one. We'll call this like the, uh, the older Komodo Burger. This is like in the older district of town. Because uh, the other one looks like a modern fast food restaurant. And this one kind of looks like an older one here. So let's pull this one up on the lift. So yeah, this is by Mr. Blazeburn. It actually had a car with it. But I had some issues with this car. Uh, past couple times I spawned it. I don't know if I'm getting some weird freakouts in the micro city. Uh, but it did have like a little uh, a burger car. Well, I wouldn't say a burger car. It's like a food food car. So yeah, it's a Komodo burger. You can see inside of it. It's a lot of detail. I must give it to him. He has put a ton of effort into the inside of this building. You can see like the little booths and tables in there on each side. You can see the big counters in the back. So yeah, we got a Komodo burger. Kind of curious, what does a Komodo burger besides burger? I mean, obviously it's going to serve burgers, but what type of burgers would they serve? Are we just like a big fast food brand or maybe these are a little bit more gourmet burgers. We'll call them that. But anyways, we got a couple little towers here. These are just a couple of the random buildings. These have been in the micro city before. Uh, so we spammed a couple more here. This could be like a... I would say maybe this is like a, a smaller hotel. Of course, I've already pointed out the uh, Croca United building that's setting over here. Now, over here, the marina, we're about to go down into it because we're actually going to take a boat out over to the power plant. But right here, this thing, and uh, like I said, Mr. Garbuckle, uh, he is a he's a champion when it comes to these micro city buildings. Uh, he built this lot right here. This is the micro city city hall. You know, I'm not even sure how I missed this. I was thinking about what buildings are not in the micro city that would be in a normal like town or city, and it popped in my head. Well, of course, duh, a city hall. So yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a view of this. I added a nice little parking lot slash like grounds to it with some trees to give it a little bit, I wouldn't say, I don't wanna say a better look. It looks fantastic, but just to give it a more complete look. But the building itself, I know it's based on something. I think, let me pull up the lift, see if he has it road on there. Uh, it's, I think, a building maybe in Toronto. It could be their city hall uh, because he's built stuff from there before. Yeah, this is based on a Toronto's old city hall. That's pretty cool. Uh, I want to go ahead and point out a couple things. At first, I thought it was actually Big Ben. Uh, when I saw it initially, I saw a smaller picture of it, and then I got close. I was like, okay, this is just a, uh, it's a unique old style building. I do want to go ahead and point out if you look closely, it that clock is running. It's just uh, it's a bit on the slow side, like a normal clock. It only goes as fast as time passes, which I think it might be a little faster than that. But yeah, if you look close, it is moving. That little hand is moving around. Uh, let's go ahead and hop. Let's get into it real quick. I don't think there's an easy way to get into this building. Now, one thing I do love about Garbuckle's creations is the whole fact that uh, he doesn't really use a lot of like bearings or anything. So his buildings, while they look complicated, they're really easy to spawn into the micro city. So yeah, this is a little bit of a view. Uh, you can kind of look on the inside here. All the windows. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a bit of detail in there. It's probably, for the most part, hollow. But I do love the windows. They, they almost have a nice reflection uh, look to them, a reflective look to them. And I'm trying to figure out, I think it might be some of the older glass, maybe lined with some newer glass. So yeah, fantastic looking. Let's go ahead and look at that clock one more time here. 
Uh, yep, you can see the arm has moved. So indeed, the clock is moving. That's a very, very nice little addition to the whole building, and it just kind of wraps it up. I, I love that clock tower. All right, so uh, we're going to briefly pass by this section here. This section over here still isn't 100% done. Uh, I didn't actually look at it last episode. These are a bunch of older style houses. How you would see in like New York City and a lot of the, uh, well, the older districts, of course. But they have a lot of the buildings where they all look like one building connected together. But it's just a bunch of apartments or a bunch of houses. So they're really close together, maybe a little bit on the uncomfortable side. But I felt like this would fit down here uh, since you have like the new modern section of downtown. Maybe this is where downtown all started. So you've got that and you have some, uh, you have some shops here like the books, baker, wares, gifts, and music. All with a little bit of detail on the inside. Now, uh, one more thing I gotta point out. We have a new little park area here. This is by the apartment building from the last episode. Uh, we have a Bob statue. It's little Bob. Uh, Bob from Brick Riggs. If you don't watch my Brick Riggs series, uh, that's actually really funny to see here in the uh, micro city. So, we need to do a bit of traveling here. Let's go ahead. We're gonna go over to the marina because we have some really, really nice sailboats. Uh, this is basically, a, like I said, a, bar, a Garbuckle themed episode because there's a lot of creations he had that I had not installed yet, but they all really tied together, like the cruise ship. I wouldn't necessarily say the city hall tied together, but uh, the boats here. So yeah, we've checked out this yacht before. This is a yacht from actually a really early episode of the Micro City, maybe episode three or four. But over here, we have a bunch of sailboats. So I went down, I created this whole area, and I created these docks because I wanted a marina. Now, I wasn't really sure where to stick it at first. I kind of wanted to stick it by the cruise ship, but I felt like the marina for, like, personal vessels would be a little too close to have cruise ships, like, right there with it. So I went ahead, I didn't build this area out like I did over here. I left, like, a little indention, so you have the train tracks over to your left side, and then you have the road to your right side. So you can walk back here, you got like a nice little view of City Hall, and I built these little docks, that way we can have a marina. So let's go ahead, we're gonna hop, these all do indeed work, it's the same uh, method with the invisible blocks, so it really does help with the lag. So we're gonna hop into here, and we can go sailing. Let's go ahead. Now keep in mind, it is a sailboat, it doesn't move very fast, so let's go ahead and get it turned. There we go. That is gorgeous, gorgeous looking. It's kind of weird. We're we're sailing in scrap mechanic. So yeah, you've got all those boats over there. There's a, a good variety of them. Uh, this one is probably one of my favorite styles. I wouldn't say it's necessarily my favorite colors. Of course, I got to go with the, the red uh, sailboats. But I do like the way the body looks on this uh, particular sailboat. So yeah, you've got a couple more. The body styles do change up between some of the boats. But for the most part, they're uh, they're relatively the same, and they all come on the same uh, creation. So you just got to cut them off, and you'll have like five or six sailboats. So yeah, really cool. Let's go ahead and turn this around. Uh, we're gonna go traveling real quick. I have a power plant. I know that's been something you guys have been asking about. Now I'm not a hundred percent hundred percent sure of its uh its position. So. We're going to go out here. Uh, over here to the right, this is not really... I think it is somewhat of a power plant. I was uh, experimenting around with it uh, before we go check out the big uh, nuke plant. <laughs> We're going to go over here. This is a... Uh, here, let me pull it up on the lift. It's hard to explain what this actually is. This is by Adam. This is an ocean thermal plant. So this is, uh, I'm assuming, using the ocean to produce electricity. Which, realistically, this would probably be the safer option. Uh, for your micro city needs when it comes to uh, power, but we were also sent by Joe Train Gamer a full-on power plant, which you can see it in the background there. We're about to go out and visit that. But this is neat. I would picture needing multiple of these, so that's why I wasn't really sure of the position. I might stick it on the other side towards the army base, uh, but it's a pretty cool little building. I don't know how much electricity uh, these actually produce. I kind of want to look this up. But it's a nice platform. At first when I saw it, I thought maybe it was like an oil platform. But uh, no, it's a uh, it's producing power using the ocean here. So definitely cool. Uh, let's hop back into this. Now as far as the future and what we're going to be doing at the Micro City, I know I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the episode, uh, we are going to start looking for new themes to start building in. 
the micro city will probably come to an end probably in about I would say if I can get about five, uh, three to four more episodes, maybe five out of it, I'll be pretty happy. But I have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna reach that limit here. This thing has become absolutely massive. So towards the end of the series, we will do like a final wrap up episode, showing you guys everything just as a whole. I'll have the download, everything really uh, put together. That way, uh, it'll be ready to go for you guys. So yeah. Mr. Joe Train Gamer, I've had this thing on my lift for probably about two to three weeks now. I just did not know where to put it. At first, let's go ahead and park here. At first, we were going to put this over by the army base, in which I'm still debating on that location. I feel like we're actually quite a ways away from the city. Now, I should have or I could have probably connected this into the road and had it maybe, like I said, by the military base connected onto one of the main roads. But I thought it would be kind of neat to actually have this out on an island. It's uh, somewhat away from the city, so if something bad were to happen... I mean, regardless, it's a it's a nuclear power plant. Uh, if something bad happens, it's going to be probably really bad. But yeah, let's pull this up on the lift real quick. Alright, so here it is. This is the Joe Train Gamer Power Plant. Uh, you saw from the comment section of the Micro City that people were wondering, well, how does the city get power? So he went ahead, built one of these... Now, Mr. Joe Train Gamer, I know I've been saying it the past couple episodes, he has a fantastic train system that I think we might stick another one. I know we have the main downtown one, but I think we might use one in the residential district. And he's got a whole setup uh, if you want to check out his workshop of uh, micro trains. It's actually quite impressive. So, we've got this power plant here. We're going to go ahead put this down. I think this is okay. We got like our little dock here you can pull up to. I did build onto the lot. He has just, this is the original lot right here, but I built like a dock area and I tried to build a, out of the blocks, the cement blocks, kind of like some rock formations around it. That way it just didn't look like a hovering platform out here in the ocean. So you've got that. We can walk up here. Uh, I don't know really much about these facilities. Uh, actually, it looks like that Kind of looks like that would open, but it doesn't, it's not on a switch. It's like a little garage door. So I guess it's your main uh, facility here. And then your reactors or your towers over here. Can we look down into these? Let's go ahead. Get up here. There'll probably be some uh, pretty good security on these things. And oh, oh, that's impressive, actually. That's cool looking. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to hop over to the other tower here. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Okay. We almost fell into it. Yeah, it's cool looking. Uh, he's achieved a really, really awesome build here. Like, he's achieved a really great shape with just blocks. He didn't use any angled pipes. This is all just straight up blocks here. Uh, so the towers look really cool. Now, if you're wondering what that, uh, those little emblems, the, the warning signs, or the, I guess those are the radioact radioactive signs, uh, that is also a Lord Pain Pack. Uh, that is something that we've recently added to the Micro City. So yeah, it's a it's a Lord Payne. It's also, I believe, it's his name is Quackerjack. It's like a little uh, mod sign pack that they've done, and it's just something that we have recently added to the Micro City. So yeah, that's pretty much it with the uh, the power plant here. Pretty awesome little build. I think this is in an okay spot. Let me know what you guys think though in the comments below. Uh, I do like kind of where it's at, and uh, I know we had like maybe a uh, we're talking about the UFOs from the last episode because uh, Lord Payne had actually built one. Uh, we talked about maybe where they were, why they were here. That could be something that maybe they're trying to get the power from the uh, the power plant. Maybe it's why the UFO showed up to the city. But anyways, that is about it for this episode of Micro City. Uh, like I said, I do really want to thank the Discord members uh, this week because uh, I I've been really busy. Uh, it's been a it's been a hectic week with all life stuff. So I didn't have as many hours to put into this city, but. I feel like I got everything in the in the positions that I want. I feel like the stuff that I did add into the city, like the little cruise ship port and stuff like that, I, I felt like that was all pretty solid stuff here. So, anyways, if you have any uh, suggestions for the Micro City, comment below. If you want to join the Discord, also, that is in the description. Uh, we will have more Micro City coming up relatively soon. Probably, uh, we're doing about one a week of these right now. Uh, but we'll also have some more scrap mechanics shenanigans coming up also. But yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic Micro City. Thank you.